And on the new moon of the fourth month, we appeared unto Avraham at the oak of Mamre, and we talked with him, and we announced to him that a son would be given to him by Sarah, his woman. And Sarah laughed, for she heard that we had spoken these words with Avraham, and we admonished her, and she became afraid and denied that she had laughed on account of the words. And we told her the name of her son, as his name is ordained and written in the heavenly tablets, that is Yitzchak, and that when we returned to her at a set time, she would have conceived a son. And in this month, Yahuwah executed his judgments on Sedom and Amorah and Sabine and all the region of the Yarden, and he burned them with fire and brimstone and destroyed them until this day, even as lo, I have declared unto you all their works, that they are wicked and sinners exceedingly, and that they defile themselves and commit fornication in their flesh and work uncleanness on the earth. And in like manner, Elohim will execute judgment on the places where they have done according to the uncleanness of the sodomy, like unto the judgment of Sedom. But Lot we saved, for Elohim remembered Avraham and sent him out from the midst of the overthrow. And he and his daughters committed sin upon the earth, such as has not been on the earth since the days of Adam till this time. For the man lay with his daughters. And behold, it was commanded and engraven concerning all his seed on the heavenly tablets to remove them and root them out and to execute judgment upon them like the judgment of Sedom and to leave no seed of the man on earth on the day of condemnation. And in this month, Avraham moved from Kevron and departed and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur in the mountains of Gerar. And in the middle of the fifth month, he removed from thence and dwelt at the well of the oath. And in the middle of the sixth month, Yahuwah visited Sarah and did unto her as he had spoken and she conceived. And she bore a son in the third month and in the middle of the month, at the time of which Yahuwah had spoken to Avraham on the feast of the first fruits of the harvest, Yitzchak was born. And Avraham circumcised his son on the eighth day. He was the first that was circumcised according to the covenant which is ordained forever. And in the sixth year of the fourth week, we came to Avraham, to the well of the oath, and we appeared unto him as we had told Sarah that we should return to her, and she would have conceived a son. And we returned in the seventh month, and found Sarah with child before us, and we blessed him, and we announced to him all the things which had been decreed concerning him, that he should not die till he should beget six sons more, and should see them before he died, but that in Yitzchak, should his name and seed be called, and that all the seed of his sons should be the other nations, and be reckoned with the other nations. But from the sons of Yitzchak, one should become a holy seed, and should not be reckoned among the other nations. For he should become the portion of El Ilyon, and all his seed had fallen into the possession of Elohim, that it should be unto Yahuwah a people for his possession above all nations, and that it should become a kingdom and priests and a holy nation. And we went our way, and we announced to Sarah all that we had told him, and they both rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And he built there an altar to Yahuwah who had delivered him, and who was making him rejoice in the land of his sojourning and he celebrated a feast of joy in this month, seven days, near the altar which he had built at the well of the oak. And he built Sukkot for himself and for his servants on this feast, and he was the first to celebrate the feast of Sukkot on the earth. And during these seven days, 
he brought each day to the altar an ascended smoke offering to Yahuwah, two oxen, two rams, seven sheep, one he goat for a sin offering, that he might atone thereby for himself and for his seed. And as a thank offering, seven rams, seven kids, seven sheep, and seven he goats, and their first offerings, and their fruit offerings, and their drink offerings, and he burnt all the fat thereof, and he burnt all the fat thereof on the altar, a chosen offering unto Yahuwah for a sweet smelling savor. And morning and evening he burnt fragrant substances, frankincense, and galbanum, and stacti, and nard, and myrrh, and spice, and costum. All these seven he offered, crushed, mixed together in equal parts, and pure. And he celebrated this feast during seven days, rejoicing with all his heart and with all his soul, he and all those who were in his house. And there was no stranger with him, nor any that was uncircumcised. And he blessed his creator who had created him in his generation for he had created him according to his good pleasure. For he knew and perceived that from him would arise the plant of righteousness for the eternal generations, and from him a holy seed, so that it should become like him who had made all things. And he blessed and rejoiced, and he called the name of this feast the Feast of Yahuwah, a joy acceptable to El Ilyon. And we blessed him forever, and all his seed after him throughout all the generations of the earth, because he celebrated this feast in its season, according to the testimony of the heavenly tablets. For this reason, it is ordained on the heavenly tablets concerning Yasharel, that they shall celebrate the feast of Sukkoth seven days with joy in the seventh month, acceptable before Yahuwah, a statute forever throughout their generations every year. And to this there is no limit of days, for it is ordained forever regarding Yasharel, that they should celebrate it and dwell in Sukkot, and set wreaths upon their heads, and take leafy boughs and willows from the brook. And Avraham took branches of palm trees and the fruit of goodly trees, and every day going round the altar with the branches seven times a day in the morning. He praised and gave thanks to his Elohim for all things in joy. <laughs>